Hello and welcome back to Good Game Nation where we bring you all things TCG. My name's Preston and I'm here with Sam. Say hello. Hello YouTube. How are you guys doing today? If you're asking the internet, they're never gonna respond. But I'm doing great. Yes, that's 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 that was my that's what I was asking. <laughs> I'm doing good and it's been another week, so it's time for some more news. Um Looks like they're releasing pretty uh, frequently, about two um, uh, starter deck cards a week and four card arts. Yes. Um, and we got starting with a uh, new croc. Or... It's exciting to have another croc. Um, it's the next arc where he was very important. Um, so we might not get another one for a while. So let's enjoy these beautiful crocodile artworks. Yeah. It's really exciting and we're going to get a lot of warlords in this set. Um, so it's cool to start seeing early art of Croc. I'm still wondering if everything they're releasing right now is SRs, because we did see a lot of really nice art for SRs in set one. Right. Um, so I wonder if they're still just doing SRs, or if we're going to get a, a bump in art quality for set two, and this is going to be a rare or something. Maybe, or yeah. It's, it's, prob it's probably at least a rare. Um, Crocodile is one of the warlords that had the, probably the most involvement, next to, like, Jinbei. Um... So this, if, if there was one to be a super rare, it could have been Croc. But I would imagine this is a rare alternate art. But I guess we'll see. I'm also interested in what color these are going to be. Um, right. if, if Warlords stay blue, Del Flamingo just sees a nice uh, nice buff with all these new options. Exactly. Very interesting. Next card we are looking at is a... What was her name one more time? Hina, right? Yes, Hina. Uh, do, we have, uh, we have, do we have the ability uh, translated as well? Play, uh, minus four. Yeah, reduce the cost up to one enemy character by four for the turn. It's another one of these decreasing abilities. And this is a good one too on play. It's not a tap this one, so this is a nice card, I think. Nice. Yeah. And uh, manga art, I think. I think this is her introduction panel, if I remember correctly. Looks good. Cool. Next card, so these are the promo cards that we have seen. And we're at to a white pure pirate, how do you pronounce it? Rakuyo? Rakuyo, right? Rock, Rakuyo. 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 Yeah, and he's the seventh Invasion Commander. Thank you, One Piece Wiki. Hmm. Pretty nice looking card. The, the, he's getting really nice art as the seventh Invasion Commander. I can only imagine what's happening for. Uh, characters that were named a lot during the Summer War. Yeah. I think we skipped one too. One that you're gonna like. Oh no, did we? Yeah. Is it this one? Uh, no, just scroll down and you'll see him. Oh no, it's right there. Yeah. Um, there, you see him. Oops. You see him. Finally, a buggy. Oh. Uh, he better be a playable buggy. I need a playable buggy. I hope so. The art is worth the, like, Oh my goodness. I, I saw this and I was like, the internet's going to lose it. I know so many people are, are such big fans of this character. He has um, an interesting role in every uh, every time we see him. So, uh, oh look, a, a friend YouTuber is the top comment. I love that. Yeah, um, yeah it's him and Mr. Uh, Mr. 2 and Mr. 3 should all have, they should have very, very playable cards. It's a very interesting thing about the meta as well. Another Warlord. Um, he probably won't have Warlord considering he wasn't at this time. But that's more characters Croc can play with his uh, his type as well. So very interesting to see how the uh, how those character cards are going to come out. Yeah. And then the next one would be this disgusting uh, posing a Kainu. I'm imagining we're going to get a Kazaru and a Kuzan as well in the same panels sitting next yeah. to him. Yeah, I, heard, I saw people theorizing that it would be really cool to have them uh, side like by all side. Three cards be like a panorama of all three of them. Um, when you put the cards next to each other, it would be really cool to see. Um, These are easily yeah, probably going to be gorgeous. SRs, I'm imagining. I would hope so, yeah. Uh, how would you feel if Block got a lot of SRs to start just to help him get the color going, I'd imagine? I think they they need a jump start. It's yeah. bad enough that right now purple has uh, two starter decks, red has basically two starter decks with their red promos. Yeah. So we're already kind of in a state of imbalance, and then black not having anything in set one is really gonna be awkward. So giving them a lot of extra stuff in set two, 
I'm all for it because I want to make sure, like, in my thought process for games, I, I like to see something uh, more of, like, a balance, so yeah. I'm all for it. No, it's exciting. Um, and then the last one should be this uh, yep. Higashi. Higashi is that your name, right? Higashi? I think so. Yeah. Tagashi, Tashag, Tashag. Yeah. Um, and this is the Starter X 2K counter. Oh, yes, it is. It has a decent playable effect, if I remember correctly. Rest this character, reduce the cost of to one enemy character by two. Yeah. So it's an interesting card um, to be playable, uh, to actually use its on play, or its rest of ability, activate main. Um, but also being a 2k counter, you're going to most likely, unless the set 2k counters are much better, uh, it's already playable as a starter deck card, being yeah. their 2ks. No, it seems, it seems like a strong card. Um, 2k counter cards are always cards to highlight, so it's a good catch. The art is very uh, very panel-like, so that's nice too. Yeah. I'll nice. Uh, first uh, interactions at lockdown too. Absolutely. I Wait, think that... Yeah. I think that does it for new card releases here. From the make sure you guys are following the Twitter. If you're not, they always drop cards uh, or something every day. Um, then we're gonna go down to the English Twitter site. They did post this. We didn't mention it. So just wanted to mention it really quick. They finally showed that the Shanks theme deck would be released winter of this year. Uh, for us, that's probably around the uh, actual set release. So that's when we're gonna get the uh, the two theme deck cards. So keep an eye out on. I'm guessing Target and things like that. And your local yeah. and your local game shops. It's really interesting because I think they have a tentative date of like mid December for all of the set one stuff. Yeah. So this is going to come out really close to that, um, which is going to shake up the early meta a lot because you're going to like what we saw in Japan. I believe is a pretty steady set one with the four starter decks, and then the film deck came in. And I believe it's going to be within weeks of each other. So we're going to jump straight into kind of where the meta is now, I'm guessing. Yep. Um, jump straight in. Then yeah. again, the Navy deck, all the black stuff will be out before we even get the set one, so... Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, like, where the meta is in Japan now yeah. is where we're going to start, mo most likely. It's going to be very quickly into, like, a two-month-ahead jump. Right. I think it's but a good thing. Yeah, I mean, we are always going to be a little behind uh, playing English uh, stuff, right. but at least we get to look ahead and see what we're going to be playing later. I love having uh, the opportunity to have our hands on cards like Bullet early, so that's really cool. Yeah, and then, exactly. And the next one, we have a tentative uh, release date that is on the website of the uh, One Piece game. Yeah, so the English One Piece website is updating a little bit more frequently now. They have uh, a release date of winter 2023 for uh, the Navy starter deck and for set two. Yeah. I'm assuming when they say winter 2023, they mean early February-ish. Um, because they also are putting all of set one stuff as winter of 2022, which they're not going to be a year apart. I think it's bad phrasing. You should probably say early 2023. Yeah. Uh, because it confused me at first, so it, I think it might confuse others. Um, but that's exciting to see that yeah. they're they're uh, at least talking about it and um, not keeping the English fans that aren't really deep into the Japanese stuff uh, hanging unknown what's going to come next. Yeah, that gives us uh, two months in between sets, which is. Uh... Which is pretty crazy. I would. I think. I thought usually gaps are about three months. So if I had to guess, I would have guessed March. Um, but we'll get it when we get it. Um, it's nice yeah. to know that it's coming soon. Um, it probably means the Japanese set three is probably going to come out um, probably before this drops. I'd imagine in January or, or February. So we're uh, we'll be trailing just about one set for probably the foreseeable future, which isn't too bad. We'll always know what's uh, what's coming. It's exciting. Yeah. And the other things that came on the website were announcement about what what's coming next for tournaments uh, for for the English side um, with uh, starter deck like tournaments starting at the end of October um, and as a second reminder last week we reminded you guys we're gonna 
put out another video later in the week. Yes. Uh, reminder for uh, the Super Pre release. Start uh, sign ups happen on uh, Friday the 16th. Uh, so make sure you're on the Bandai Plus website. Yep, absolutely. Uh, to uh, get your sign ups from what we've heard from uh, Digimon. Signups go quick, so make sure you're ready. Um, and then there was a bunch of erratas and the Q&A stuff. I'm assuming it's a direct copy from the Japanese uh, Q&As about yes. each card in the starter decks. Uh, so get familiar with rulings so that you don't have uh, problems when the set comes out. Absolutely. I think that will that'll do it for us for news today. How was it? Yeah, another one down. Um, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Leave us a like if you enjoyed it. If you want to get more One Piece TCG content, hit that subscribe. And uh, for future notifications, hit the bell so that you get that notification in the upcoming week so you don't miss the super pre-release signups. Absolutely. Until next time, have a good one, and we'll see you. Bye. Bye, guys.